All right, so I gotta make this one really fast because I'm in the middle of doing laundry, Sunday laundry type things. But uh, I'm here to rant about the OnePlus 5. Full disclosure, I haven't actually touched the device yet. Everything that I'm going on here is basically about things I read about it. And my opinions as a proud uh, OnePlus 3T uh, user and how I feel about the upgrade path. So, first thing I want to say, the good about this phone. Starts at under $500 still. That's amazing. Starts at 6 gigs of RAM. That's amazing. Um, I think the, the, the under $500 one is also the 64 gigs of storage. Eh, eh, 64 is not bad. 128 would have been nicer. Um, things I don't like about the new phone is just like this one, still not waterproof. Ah, it's hard to justify waterproof as a $300 upgrade for a phone like a Samsung. Besides the obvious fact that Samsung is garbage. Um, but I, I, I want waterproof. I live by the ocean. I live by the beach. I, I, I want to be water and, of course, sandproof also because when you live near the ocean, there's sand in the air and it gets in the, the crevices and holes. So, for the record, I might have said beach. I'm not really close to the beach, per se, but close to the ocean. The beach still is not very far, and there's a shit ton of sand in the air still. Um, and my least favorite thing about this phone is it does look a lot like the iPhone 7, which I never really thought was a very good-looking phone. However, however, the lack of the bump, camera bump, is obviously an upgrade to the design of the iPhone 7, but I think I think they went the wrong direction by trying to mimic that. Though the front still looks a lot like this, with the little button and the... Oh yeah, there you go. A little fingerprint reader in the front. I, I really think a fingerprint reader in the back, below the camera, in the center, is ideal. I find myself... My finger just goes there. Of course, the speed of this thing just being like... Oops. Just unlock that fast, you know? I just... Boom. That is cool. And I know from what I read, it's still there. Um, my actual verdict? I think that if you already have a 3 or a 3T, don't upgrade. Um, it's not that big of a jump, unless you need that dual camera. Um, however, if you have a much older phone... It still looks like a pretty badass phone for the price. So that's that's my take. Um, yeah. OnePlus 3T, still a badass phone. If you can find them for cheap, it's also a good option. I know the official store doesn't sell it anymore, but uh, I see them on Amazon. So, Anyways, this is my rambly, uh, unofficial, off-the-cuff, out-of-my-butthole um, take on the OnePlus 5. Peace, kids.